Greetings and welcome to Living Supernaturally. Thank you so much once again for giving us this opportunity to minister God's Word and spend a few moments in prayer. This week we're talking about covenants and today we'll talk about the Adamic covenant. Genesis chapter 3 and verse 15. And I will put enmity between you and the woman and between your offspring and hers. He will crush your head and you will strike his heel. The Adamic covenant is found in Genesis 3, which include mankind, which is male and female, created in God's image, mankind's dominion and rule over the animal kingdom, divine directive for mankind to reproduce and inhabit the earth. God told them not to do something. He commanded them not to eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. God also clearly spelt out the consequences if Adam did eat the fruit. That consequence was death. As a result of Adam's sin, the following curses were pronounced. There was enmity between God and man, painful childbirth for women, marital strife, the soil was cursed, survival to be a struggle, death was introduced, and death was inescapable. When Adam and Eve ate the fruit, he broke the Adamic covenant and brought sin and death to all humanity. By God's grace, his plan, God's plan was unthwarted. God does not have a plan B. Although these curses are severe and inescapable, a wonderful promise of grace was included in the Adamic covenant. The Genesis chapter 3 verse 15 is often referred to as the proto-gospel or the first gospel. God said he will bruise you on the head and you, will, you shall bruise his heel. Here God promises that one born of a woman would be wounded in the process of destroying Satan. The seed of the woman who would crush the serpent's head is none other than Jesus Christ. Even in the midst of the curse, God's gracious provision of salvation shines through. Likewise, even in the midst of our mountains and challenges, His grace shines through, causing us to always be victorious. Let us pray. Father, we thank you. Thank you that you are a God who knows the end from the beginning. Lord, we trust you, Lord, and we pray that we will, each one of us will continue, Lord, to look to you and know that you are working in our waiting, God, to trust your ways. Lord, we pray that you will empower us by your Holy Spirit to live faithfully as your children, God. We give you all the praise and glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.